Hi there, thanks for tuning in today. If you wanna be a good leader, and if you definitely wanna be a great leader, then you can't be satisfied with the status quo and the way things are, are going in your operation right now. You have to be looking to make improvements. Improvements by their very nature are change. And one of the main reasons that leaders don't make improvements and don't go through change is because it's difficult to get buy-in from your team. People have a natural fear of change. What I wanted to discuss today is a couple of ways that you can get over that fear of change with your team. The first way is by giving them information. People are fearful of what they don't understand. So the first thing that you wanna do when you go through a change, when you go through an improvement of any nature, is you want to give your team as much information as possible. You wanna lay out the whole plan of how it's going to go. You wanna show them where the support structure is going to be. By giving them this information, you cut through that fear of the unknown. It may still be there because they aren't as familiar with the new process as they were the old, but you will at least have done your part to do get past that fear of the unknown. The second thing that you wanna do is you want to reinforce the why. Change is difficult for any number of different reasons, and so it's important for your team to understand what the payoff is for going through all of this pain that they're going to go through. So, Explain to them clearly why it's important for us to be improving in this particular area, why the change is mandated. Get very clear on that. It may not even be clear to you as to why some of these changes need to take place. So get with your boss, but give it that thought because that provides the motivation for people to get through things. One of the first cop-outs that they're going to have is none of this is worth you know, the pain that we're going through right now, for lack of a better term on it. Um, those are the two things. Tackle the fear of the unknown with information and tackle the lack of motivation with getting clear on the why. Now, a, a few tips on, on change to bring up is bring up past successes. Obviously, this isn't gonna be the first time you've gone through this, so bring up the past successes. Cut through that fear of whether it's going to be successful or not. Also, bring people into the discussion. Give them ownership over particular areas. If they have that sense of ownership over something, then they'll be more likely to see the benefit of it because they don't wanna waste their time. The one thing that I don't recommend for you to tackle that fear of change is answering the question, what's the worst that can happen? It seems logical that that would go ahead and calm down the fears, but it puts the focus in the wrong place. It puts the focus on failure. And you don't wanna focus on failure, you wanna focus on success. You don't want people thinking about what the, what's the worst that can happen, so I'll just take an okay result. You want people focused on being successful with the change, seeing all that it can bring to the organization. So don't focus on that question of what's the worst that can happen. Uh, focus on information and why it's important. Thanks, have a good one.